Good evening, everyone. It's Rachel. I haven't been on in a while. And honestly, I don't have a good reason why I haven't been on. I think it's just been life getting in the way, a lot of procrastination. And today, I told myself, you know what, enough is enough. I just saw um, a message from someone who was getting a message also, confirming a message from Alwyn um you my s and they were just talking about how we need to be doing instructions more or less i feel like i felt called to do my instructions even despite the whole despite feelings of like doubt and um laziness and procrastination um and i also want to see imposter syndrome a bit of imposter syndrome as well but today i'm back at it okay today we are going to be reading uh, a, ch a chapter from Psalms, um, Psalms 144. I have been seeing 144 in the time a lot, or I'll see 1144, or I'll see 414, or I'll see 141. You know, I just thought it was just God and confirming that. So today I'm going to give you guys a little insight from what I've learned. Um, if you guys are having a hard time praying, this is a little tip I can share with you. Pick a psalm that relates the most to your situation and read it out loud read it out loud with faith read it out loud as if it is your personal prayer or even replace some of the words for example if maybe it says david right i mean say your name say your name like okay protect david your servant just say protect rachel your servant for example just a little pro tip <laughs> and uh yeah so today anyway that was just a little tip and now we're going to read psalms 144 but before we begin, let's take this moment to pray to God that he keeps us in the right posture during our session this time. And so that his, he may use me to speak to you guys. And um, may his glory, may he take all the glory and not me. <laughs> I'm just a messenger. I'm just a servant, child of God. As you are also children of God. And you are also called to do your instructions. Okay. Oh dear Lord and Heavenly Father. Thank you so much for this moment you've given us to be here today, to be here with you in your holy presence. We pray that you may please send down your Holy Spirit in this moment, that I may be able to glorify you through what I am going to share with my brothers and sisters. And I pray that you may please utilize me as your vessel to speak words of life, speak words of encouragement, wisdom, speak words that may be helpful in this spiritual warfare that's going on, that may help empower people with the tools they need to challenge these evil forces and principalities that are coming against us is all this i pray through you through your son jesus christ in jesus christ name i pray amen and yes it's okay you can make mistakes as you pray just make sure you correct them immediately you notice them <laughs> don't be afraid to pray pray whatever way god is listening as long as you pray from your heart continue to pray okay don't feel discouraged just because you said one wrong thing in prayer it's like having a conversation you're not always going to say the right thing just don't be afraid okay so one more thing before i get into this word i'll just note that this is one of my favorite favorite warfare prayers because i think everybody needs to learn how to pray warfare prayers and there's so many in psalms you'll find the one you like this is just my favorite and i think it's also because god specifically was calling me to do this one so that's why it might be my favorite but otherwise let me show you um as i read through i will also offer like tips on how to enhance the prayer so that you can really feel what it's talking about and you don't feel far away from the word just ways you can incorporate the word more into your situation so let's get into this first one blessed be the lord my strength which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight my goodness and my fortress my high tower and my deliverer my shield and he in whom i trust who subdueth my people under me or you could say who subdueth these dark entities and principalities under me lord what is man that thou takest knowledge of him or the son of man that thou makest account of him man is like to vanity his days are as a shadow that passeth away this part reminds you of how insignificant we are and you know are only as important as we are because of god so it makes you acknowledge it this is verse three and four it makes you acknowledge that part which helps keep you humble and in a state of humility even as you pray it doesn't make you puffed up in pride in general because pride is a negative thing it's not a fruit of the spirit bow thy heavens o lord and come down 
touch the mountains and they shall smoke in this case you can say blockages or stagnation you know any demonic altars you can say father touch these demonic altars from against my life and they shall smoke cast forth lightning and scatter them shoot out thine arrows and destroy them Hmm? make it more personal to you whatever you want the lord to clear out of the way mention it in place of mountains because mountains are just showing you like problems that you can't solve on your own you can't move mountains on your own only god can do that for you so whatever problem is keeping you making you feel like you're stuck or in bondage mention it mention it tell the lord about it call it by its name and ask the lord to intervene for you and scatter it to cast it out to destroy it you know ask your father he's here listening if only you'd ask we're in verse 7 now send thine hand from above rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood people speak against your destiny people speak lies against you people who just talk about you in general like they shouldn't they have no business doing that god said gossip is a sin so we should be trying our best not to gossip if they're a true child of god we shouldn't be doing it in the first place james tells us how to deal with stuff if you have a problem with your brother set him aside go discuss it with him one-on-one -on -one. if he if he won't listen to you you go ask other people to hear it and if they're still in the wrong and that person still doesn't want to apologize you know that's that's the thing that's we have procedures on how to do this so if someone's not doing the procedure god told you how to do it we already know what spirit they're operating from so now we go to uh verse nine I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant, in this case we'll say Rachel his servant, so you can replace it with your own name. You are a servant of God as well, so you say, it is he who giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth Rachel his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. This was even re-emphasized. David had to write it twice. He re-emphasized it, showing you the power of people's words. Deliver you from people whose hand speaketh vanity. The right hand is the right hand of falsehood we're well, so quick to do wrong against others verse 12 that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace this is already speaking blessings to the generations to come from your bloodline you're already speaking blessings to them you're you're asking the lord to make sure your children are as plants grown up in their youth and your daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace these are blessings Verse 13, it reads, that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store. Let's say that our accounts may be full of abundance, you know, affording all manner of store. That our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets. You may say that our investments bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets or in our homes or in our businesses in general. That our oxen may be strong to labor that there be no breaking in or going out that there be no complaining in our streets so you see you can utilize these um psalms these guides you know these are kind of like guides on how to pray if you want you can say the psalm as it is i'm sure it will it will still be powerful but i do think when you add your when you personalize it when you personalize it to your life and what you desire from god it adds more power to the sound happy is that people that is in such a case yeah happy is that people whose god is the lord that's the end of the psalm 144 and i hope this helped someone and kind of gave you a little insight on how to utilize your sounds and how to um for lack of better words harness the power of the psalms to make it more powerful more personal for you and to help you pray um, using these, this as a guide and I hope this helped someone, I hope this blessed someone, I hope this drew you closer to God. Oh glory to God, test the spirit behind this word, make sure you're um, checking in with the Lord if, to make sure that you're listening to the right stuff, don't just go around listening to people on the internet and uh, yeah, I 
I will see you guys next time. Thank you for listening. Bye.